folks, we're uh, hanging out here. Pulled over uh, because we got a little bit of uh, construction blockage up ahead. Um, and so this guy, this mean guy's making me stop. But we did did just have like a couple of F-15s or F-16s or whatever they were do a little flyby right over there in the canyon, which is pretty damn weird. The roads up here are shit, but um, the place is just, it's gorgeous. And the roads get worse and worse and worse the closer and closer we get to uh, elk camp. So uh, it is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's fun. We'll show you how bad some of these roads are when we get up here. But you can see these are all really high uh, slide areas. Um, so they put up all these barriers, these uh, rock cages, uh, similar to what people build and throw in lakes for structure. Um, but they do that to help stop some of the slide from coming out in the road. There's a good shot of the mountain. Pretty phenomenal. What's up, folks? So I believe right up here is Mount Rainier. Right there. Pretty darn cool. This is kind of the area we drive through um, as we get closer to Randall. Uh, this is White Pass. Uh, we're already over the top of the pass and we're heading down as we speak. About 30 miles out of Randall right now. This place has been uh, hit with some pretty good fires this year. Uh, but it appears as though they have all been extinguished, which is awesome. Uh, the fire crews are all gone from up here now, uh, which is outstanding, uh, and so we should have a good season. You know, the majority of the fires will be past us now, and and uh, that's awesome. So look at that; that is beautiful. I'll try and get a good shot of it as we come around the corner up here, where it opens up a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. That's John right up there in front of us. Uh, he's got the GPMs to base camp. So uh, that is where we are headed. It is 80 degrees up here, which is kind of surprising. It's a heck of a lot cooler uh, at home than it is here, or at least it was. Uh, heated up quick the farther closer we got to Randall, but it's going to be beautiful. We're going up to about, I think base camp is somewhere around 3,700 feet-ish um, anyways, give or take. But uh, we're just going to follow John. we got a bit of a drive into base camp, about an hour, uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and then we will set up camp and uh, talk about game plan for scouting and blind set up tomorrow, replace some salt licks, and uh, hopefully we'll see some stuff coming in, and if we do, we'll uh, give them a whacking uh, come opening day. got to Randall, stopped and grabbed a couple of uh, other things that we needed. Uh, John grabbed some losing lottery tickets. Um, uh, actually, I think he went now out. in Gifford Pinchot National Forest, uh, and these roads are quickly going to turn into uh, crap. None of this stuff is maintained up here uh, anymore, and there are no real plans to uh, continue the maintenance on these roads uh, as of the near future. So these roads are going to be what they are until uh, they see fit to, to fix them. And this section of the road is pretty good, but uh, the closer we get, uh, or the farther up we get, the worse it gets. And, uh, yeah, so I'll show you some of that later on. And Richard Petty up here, uh, that thinks he needs to go Mach 6 down this road. Uh, and, in, and since I have no idea where I am, I have to follow him. So I'm not saying we're breaking the law, because that would be irresponsible and unacceptable and ill-advised. I'm just saying he's going faster than I think is needed. But we're both a little amped up to get to camp and get set up, so 
I get it. So we'll just, uh, if he wants Richard Petty, it, I'll earn hard it behind him and we'll, uh, we'll get there. See just how schmitty these roads are. You know, John's still going, Richard Petty, see him bouncing around up there. It's pretty nuts. They broke off and sunk down and got lots of lots of travelers up here this time of year for early elk. And it's gonna get cold up here at night. It'll get down into the 30s for sure. So you know, just being smart about what we're doing and trying not to get all wet and make sure our heaters are running properly and we got warm enough sleeping bags and all that kind of stuff up off the ground will be key. So, uh, man, I can't wait. This I've been looking forward to this for so long and uh, for the day to finally get here to where we can get out and get camp set up and start scouting. Man, I'm just, I'm jacked, absolutely jacked. And I'm really glad I decided not to take the camper. That would have been a little too glamping for this type of, uh, for what we're doing. Yeah, would have been more comfortable, probably would have been warmer, um, would have been easier for sure, but um, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't be the experience that we're gonna have uh, over this next week. So um, I'm uh, extremely glad that we brought the tents and we're gonna we're gonna actually rough it. We're gonna spend a day catching food. Um, it's just gonna be a good week. Man, it's gonna be a good week. Oh, big bump. Well, folks, we're getting closer. And this road is definitely worse than when we were out here the first time. Um, way more washboardy. It is terrible. Um, but we're getting close. We're about, I don't know, maybe less than five miles away from base camp. So, this is our first uh, deer of the trip. Uh, not too far from base camp, a little blacktail. So, uh, promising outlook. Uh, maybe we can, uh, maybe we'll see something. One of those guys uh, while we're hunting out here. Looks first cool. sight was taken, so off to the second choice. Mr. Juan John Nunez, Mr. B. Ryan, out here at Elk Camp, we got the second spot that we uh, had scoped out uh, from the earlier uh, scouting trip. We got that little meadow down there with a little bit of water left in it. We got the tents up. Uh, now we have this shit show to get through. Uh, but we got a nice wide open area. Should have it all to ourselves. What's up, people? First meal at uh, Elk Camp this year. Me and John out here just hanging out. We've got home. Got a little low hanging fruit there. Home, clothes, kitchen, coolers, all that crap. John's over there eating some chili mac and beef, and I'm eating uh, a little beef stroking off. Stroking off? I just said stroking off. do some scouting and set the blind up and some salt lick and whatever else and then uh, in the evening we're going to shoot the bows a little bit more and pre Bud Light bow shooting mm -hmm. and uh, get ready for uh, opening day on Saturday. It'll be fun. And then Sunday we've got a little uh, Vikings Niners football game. John likes the Niners, and yeah, I've lived a life of disappointment with the Vikings. So, how many Super Bowls? Um, I flushed a few Super Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Jimmy Garoppolo. Who's your quarterback now? Kirk Cousins, Cousins, baby, the $84 million man. Yeah, he a lot of money for nothing. I can't say nothing. Mm-hmm.
He hasn't played a game. Um, Where's he throwing to? Uh, probably the Stephon Diggs is all he got probably out. the best uh, wide receiver duo in the en entire NFL. Stop it right now. Come on, man. Stephon Not Diggs, Adam Browns. Thielen. Not the Cleveland Browns. I, I think they were rated as the number one receiving duo last year. Well, that was last year. Are you living in the past? I'm just saying. I mean, I like the past too. I don't live in it, but I like it. I'm not even cussed yet. <laughs> it well. so good. This is what we do during uh, pre hunting. We, uh. She says what we do during pre hunting. We've actually never hunted together, so this is what we do. Hey. That's going in the video. 100% John's ass crack is going in the video. <laughs> Yeah. 